This show is amazing. If you look past the shameless fan service, which there is a lot of, the battle elements, the plot, the pacing, the characters. Oh my god. Yo, ever since episode three, it's it's a coincidence that as soon as Freed showed up, everything changed. Technically, Asha showed up that episode too, but hey, holy shit. Ever since then, it's just been back to back to back hype. We're getting to know more about the sacred gear. There's like the 13 sacred like weapons of longness, right? And like like their boosted gear there's the dragon or something and there's the princess that's supposed to be riaz and then at the end of the episode we had like dio show up bro this shit is getting so hyped i'm so excited and you said that like it's not even season one's not even that good like the plot really turns into overdrive in the future seasons so goddamn my expectations are pretty hype let's begin today's reaction though uh oh here comes some nipples this is asha's Wow, they really censor her butt crack, but they don't give a shit about that. Like, look at this. What? How are you just going to censor the ass crack, but you're fine with the titties? Where did, where did Koniko get a lobster from? Yeah, that's a bad look. Don't don't show her that. Don't show her that. Maybe Asha wouldn't mind. Ah! Uh, oh, I don't think she minds. Stop looking at the panties, bro! I mean, then again, she's, you know, here like this too. Base physical strength because remember, twice, no, boosto, you know, it's gonna, like, two times one is two, but two times four is eight. Man, <laughs> just increase the base strength and you can obviously power up faster. Oh, a new alarm clock. Oh, she's sick. We need to wake up for her, guys. Dude, I love this alarm clock. There's so many different variations. Why does Riaz get to ride the bike and he has to run? Well, technically, you know, we're doing this for his, you know, boost, though. They're not doing Riaz. They're doing Riaz dirty here. Her ass looks terrible, but her titties look amazing. That's one thing about anime girls is that they always just, like, front load. The titties are gigantic melons, but the... Oh, my God. But the ass is, like, so flat, you know? People also mention that there's a significant difference between physical strength versus, like, magic that we haven't really gone into yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, ma'am. <laughs> How are you getting horny about this? Okay. <laughs> oh! What are you... <laughs> he was like stroking! <laughs> nah, nah, cranking! He was cranking, bro. He was cranking. Asha. Aww. Uh-oh. Don't, don't watch. Oh. That's a classic trip and her panties up? Are her panties visible? Oh, I was gonna say, the only reason you trip is so that the, you know, random fan service. No answer? What's she distract distracted by? What? What was that? Why did she act so weird? Huh? Are you, are you, are you sure? We wanna... Ah, she's moving in? Oh, I, oh, okay, that works. I mean, the parents are probably gonna be so happy about it, right? Is Asha also a foreigner? She is, right? So then, the parents are gonna go, Our son is going international again! What favor? What favor? Okay, this sounds pretty good. I thought she was gonna say something, say something like really bad for him. Mom is down. Oh, we do empty room. We just move in with Issei's room, man. He's the harm king. Harm king. Housewife? Wait. Housewife? Sure. I don't know why Rias is pushing so hard for this, but sure. Failure of a son. That's on you guys. Is she feeling jealous? Is she feeling like she wants to be a wife to someone, but she can't for some reason? What? Because she's been looking very distant with Issei, right? <laughs> Entire class lights up. How do you have those analytics? How do you measure that? Don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Now we got a target on her back. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I remember what Issei said last episode. I have such good friends. I'm sure they would love you. But I said, as soon as they find out that you're all together, they're going to just stab you. Are they good friends for this? I think it's just a joke, right? It's just that good friends would be actually happy for them. But 
お風呂やトイレは厳重にチェックするのよ。ああ。チェックです。Let me check it. そうそう。カメラとか仕掛けられてるかもしれないから。Oh. Yeah, our friends. Quote unquote friends. Ah,、uh, she on the back of the bike. Oh, this is a classic. Oh my god, this scenery right here. The guy is riding the bike and the girl's in the back seat. This has to be in like a farm place, like a, not like a city, and like a more rural area. And there's gotta be like a river bank. It's gotta be like sunset. That is the most like classic anime trope, I guess, for like a couple. Oh! Okay. I mean, it makes her tighten up, right? Not like that. I mean, to grab him. I meant like that, like that. That's what I meant, guys. It's a good couple. They're, they're a good couple, don't you think? But e s e e and Ria's not happening. It can't happen, maybe. Maybe that's why Ria's looks so distant and like. Even now. Why is she so absent minded? Power right below the queen? How? How? I mean, she has some cracked healing powers. Power ranking is very loose term because she can heal. It's very useful. So power ranking doesn't really necessarily mean destructive force, right? It's just like how there's a lot of different parameters being judged for power level. Or maybe the power rankings really means that she's just strong. I don't know. Whoa, the store is pretty fancy. Uh oh. I'm worried. I'm worried. What is this voice? What is this voice in door? Uh oh. Run. Run. Hello. Oh, you're jacked. Hello, Milton. You're so kind of cute. Here we go, guys. Transition scene incoming. Three, two, one. Prepare yourselves. Oh. I was expecting a lot worse for some reason. What's a squeak? Okay, what's the favor? That's probably impossible, but maybe you could be a VTuber, yes! Miltan could be a VTuber, be a magical girl, he's so cute, look! I don't think that's possible. Unless maybe he wants to get reincarnated as part of the Grimory family, right? I don't, I don't know how that really works. <laughs> <laughs> the way he talks is kind of cute. The way he moves is kind of cute. But, like, look how jacked he is, bro. Uh huh. Oh, that's where the outfit is inspired from. The identical one. Okay. We're just weaving out like last time. That's fine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee. Who designed these gym. Shorts. What is this? Bloomers. Bloomers will look like panties if you concentrate enough. Truly, truly cultured beings. But if these bloomers are out of control. Sun's too bright. You know how he has like better vision in the darkness? Does the sun like make him weaker? I don't know. Rias. Why? Why are you here? Maybe Rias felt a little lonely. Oh, the wings are out though. I wonder where the wings are out. What's going on with Rias this episode? Languid. Don't even know what that word means. That's probably so uncomfortable to sleep with wings out. Why are the wings out though? What do you mean, oops? Why were the wings out? I mean, I hear some people actually are like that. Yes. I think ass is more than better than tits, but. Is that a question? Is that a question? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. It's not even like that right now. It kind of is, actually. It kind of is. Contract with someone. It's hard to get a client. He says sucks at it.、Hmm? Whoa. Is. Some weeb shit. Extra weeb shit. Not anime weeb shit, but Japanese culture weeb shit. That's a cute girl. That's a cute girl's voice. Why are you wearing that? Okay. Susan. She's got blonde curls. Ah! She literally is a weeb! She got the blonde curls. Careful! Maybe she does that. <laughs> she fucking practiced. <laughs> to the university to get notes. What? You're scary at night. People like you are scary at night. Yeah, all our clients have honestly been freaks. Ah! <laughs> Dude, that's actually so dangerous. No! You're the only thing scary at night! 
Okay, we got the notebook. That's it? You summoned the devil for that? No, what about the contract, though, right? I don't blame him. The right in the circle? <laughs> That's not the only thing he's jerking, guys. Oh, we gotta go off for some romantic... Alright, we're doing some roman romance therapy. <laughs> the last thing he says Love letter. Put it in his, like, gym locker. And then he'll see it. Meet me in the rooftop. Bruh, Redder! Wow, even, like, the brush and everything, right? This is so, like, very Japanese, you know? <laughs> True. It is the thoughts that counts. It isn't about the form. What is up with Rias this episode, bro? That I'd be impressed if you can get the love letter out there, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe he's going to show up at the park and we're going to, like, shoot it. Or maybe this is where we said, meet me here. <laughs> She's so extra. The arrow landed! He's got like a Western knight. So maybe he's a Japanese person who's really into like Western culture and she's like a weeb. So this is a weeb and this is like a... I don't even know what the word is for that. Yeah, it's like European knight armor. Bro, are you okay? Is the arrow like stuck in your head? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you landed it. We're just gonna forget about the head injury. <laughs> I, what the fuck is going on this episode, bro? It worked, though. It actually worked. This is true love, man. They don't even know what they look like. I don't know. Maybe they do. Hard and sturdy. They love these armors. They're just armor fetishes, man. They are the perfect couple. It's great on them. Rias is very happy about setting them together, but... Something about Rias makes me feel like she can't have a romantic relationship. Look at this, look. It's almost like it's forbidden for her, why? Like Yuma. I mean, you didn't really love her. How can you love someone you've never even like, you just barely met, right? Damn, the Harem King giving some deep answers. Okay. I have a feeling as soon as we get into it, Asha or someone's gonna show up and then it's gonna be ruined. Got five seconds. Five seconds, make it count. Go, go, go! Bro! Boost to let's go! We got two seconds left. It's already late. It's too late. One second, bro. You got one and five. It's two over. And Asha shows up and it's over. What I say, guys. I thought, you know, he'd be actually groping her. And then Asha shows up and then she started crying or something. But my man got distracted by the left or the right titty. I wonder if Akina knows. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> In front of them. No shameless. Do what? It's a hug, but she's going to press her titties on him. Just, mm, just take that shit. Akino actually opened her eyes and is being serious. Could she be what? Falling in love with Issei? Something is very off about Rias this episode. And like, I was always wondering, as soon as Asha showed up, it was like, damn, Asha and Issei seems to be the true ship. I mean, Rias is going out of her way to make them like a housewife, house husband kind of couple, right? So here's what I'm thinking. I think that Rias might be developing some feelings for Issei. I'm not sure why. She keeps calling him cute Issei, and I thought that maybe there is no chance for us to get with her. But maybe she's a type of character, for some reason, because she's head of this household, she's like forbidden from like experiencing love. Therefore, she can only get this kind of like, uh, she can only kind of understand what romance is like, like today's episode, setting other people up, right? Setting Asha and Issei up, setting the armored couple up. I'm not exactly sure why she can't experience love. And at the very end, Akina's saying, Rhea, so like, uh, like, like, Captain, like, I can't believe, like, it can't be or something, like, implying that Rias might be falling for Issei, she knows that she can't fall for Issei, but inevitably it's gonna happen. It's a harm show, so fuck it. I really like Ashia, though. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.